Now that we saw this left menu that's called the app authoring menu, let's see the others. Here in the top, we have this comment bar that adapts depending on what you have selected on your Canva. For example, if I select an image, I see that some properties changed here. For example, if I go to the tree view and select a screen, I see some options here, such as background color, add data, insert to insert new controls, or I have these three dots that I can select background image, settings, and so on. If I select, for example, this text input, I already see different things in here. For example, the font, font size, font weight, and other information here. This adapts depending on what I have selected. So once you have something selected, if you look at it, you may find the shortcut you want. Basically, that's it. Here, in the right, we have the app actions. Here, we can see the status of the app that's currently editing, because I could be a viewer. In this icon, the properties icon, we can toggle the properties pane. We are going to see it later. I can toggle the comments pane so I can add comments to my app and review later. Imagine you have some notes to leave in here. You want to just write something for later. You can create a comment here. For example, do the home screen. And then you just send. The comment will be here and you can identify later and solve this problem that you just commented. Now it's saving, it's taking a while, but soon it will be here. Yes, here it is. You can still write and mention people to this comment. And then in the tree view, you can also find where you have comments because it will show this icon here saying you have something here, a comment. Okay, we have this app checker where you can find some useful tips for formulas or errors that happen when you're trying your app. For example, here I'm seeing some accessibility warnings saying that I don't have accessible labels for the controls here. Then I just clicked and it went to the place where it's giving my warning. It's useful, especially when we have errors. We see the errors in the formulas, we click and it goes directly to the error. Very good. We have the sharing pane that we can use to share with other people. We have the preview button so we can click and use the app as if we were using it. We have the save button and we can also save as or download a copy so it will download a file and you can import later. And we have the publish so we make this latest version of available to the users. Okay, right below this modern command bar, we have the formula bar. It also adapts based on the selected control. So if I select, for example, a text input, it will show the properties of that text input. All the properties that I can edit are here. For example, if I select the image, then I will see all the properties for the image. If I go to the tree view and select the screen, I will see all the properties for the screen and so on. Also, with any control selected, we have a panel here in the side that now it doesn't show anymore. It used to show all the time in the past and we have this toggle here in the top. It's the properties button. So we click on it and it shows the properties. We already saw in the introduction lesson that all the controls have properties that we can customize here. So here it shows all the properties for that control. These are the same properties that we can see here in the drop down. For example, we have this default text for this text input and it's written here text input. I could delete it and then it applies for that control. If I click in the name of the property here, it will select it in the drop down here in the top and I can type here in the formula bar. And that's very useful because sometimes you need something with more space. The last thing is here in the bottom, we have another pane that we can select the screens so we can alternate between screens and we can zoom in and out our Canva. In the very end, we have this button that fits to the window. 
Sometimes we need to zoom a lot to do something and we want to fit, so we have this shortcut here. This is all for the interface. Here we are seeing how the pane is expanded and now it's time to put our hands in the app and start learning. See you in the next lessons.